Hey, I'm Rob. Today I want to show you how to use some features in, in Web Control. In particular, I want to show you how to, to load some G code, but I also want to show you how to move it around. You can set the home position. First of all, um, on your machine, you want to go within Web Control once it's running. You load that up, you go to G code, and then you upload your file. And so within your, you know, wherever you've stored that on your local machine, I'm going to load one called circles and open. And it doesn't show here because it allows you to select multiple files. So it's selected and you just hit submit. Um, it loads and then you see the circles. And if you see um, on the board behind me, these have already been cut. Once we have this loaded, if you want to be able to place this so that you can cut it again, you might want to put, so your, or your center is located here. So what you can do is you can say, well, I want to try it here. So within web control, and this is really where you start to get the power of web controls, you can right click and you can select define home. And it will move your um, cutout for you. That's a little too far. So we define home here and look, it fits on the page. And then we can also right click there and um, tell it to move there. So if we hit move to, then it starts to move and it will go to that new home location without having to use the arrow buttons. Now, the other thing you can do is if you want to make fine tuning adjustments, you can use the controls in the upper right to just move that slide a little bit to bump it here and there and then save your new home position using the, the disk and home. Like clicking on the Z axis and moving in millimeters up or down away from the board in order to zero it. And once you get it zero, you click the zero button. Uh, very, very straightforward, very simple. You start your cut, you press the play button and then you can pause it or stop it in the middle. These line, these buttons below are very useful for when you have a problem. If you're troubleshooting and say you, you go so far and there's a, a bad line of code within your G-code set and it stalls, say at line five, you can, when it comes back to life, you can actually go to line number five and hit go to and on the screen, normally, there it is. Okay, the little black indicator will show you where that cut will end up. Um, if you want to go to the next Z axis move, you click the forward Z button and it will show you where the next plunge is or the next withdraw. So it, for each of these positions, it lowers and then it withdraws and so it will plunge and so it starts and stops in the same position on these so they look the same so there's two clicks for each of these positions but if we had a more um, intricate cutout then this would move a little bit more but you can um, see as you scroll through this this is where your thing would go so if you hit start right now if I press play it will move to this position and start the cut from that position. So we can do that, I don't have it on. So what it'll do is it'll start to move to that position um, and probably fall off the bottom of the board. You can see me, it's, it's gonna be down pretty low. But if I hit play, it will head to that position. See, so, and there it goes. And so we can stop it and tell it to go back home. And so within Web Control, you have the ability to recover from a cut, assuming that you haven't had to recalibrate or, re or reset your chains. If, if positionally you still know where your home position is, um, and for whatever reason, like you broke a bit or, um, you know, something just didn't look right and you needed to stop, you can go back and resume from where you left off or resume from the nearest Z movement where you left off and, and be able to keep going um, from the cut. That way you waste less wood, which is, I think, a, a great feature uh, within web control. Go to 
actions and we go to calibration setup and we scroll down to return home to center and then it moves that back to center so let's say you wanted to move move this up 10 millimeters so you change this to 10 and then you would press the up arrow and that would drive the sled up 10 millimeters just like that and so that's how you move a simple bump position you can move up down left right or up and right or up and left down right down left all right well that's all i got